Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Today is Monday, March the 6th, and we've got a special treat for you today, and really all this week. We've got some surplus in, we've got some different types of surplus, some things you haven't seen before, and we're gonna be spending this week highlighting surplus. Now today, what we're gonna highlight is some Persian Mausers. Iranian Mausers, uh, one of my favorite surplus rifles, to be quite honest, is my favorite surplus bolt action rifle. I love these Persian Mausers in eight millimeter. We've had these in the past. The ones we had in the past were in the very good to excellent range. What I have left here are gonna be in the good range. Some have cracked stocks. We even have some fares, but we're closing out everything we have left in the building on the eight millimeter Persian Mauser. I've got a table full here in front of me. These are all the good surplus that I have. William's running the camera for us today. William, come on in and just scan very quickly. You're gonna see some different conditions. All of these are called good. This particular one has something really sticky on it. It's scratching off with my fingernail. Folks, we're not very sophisticated around here. In all honesty, we ran out of WD-40. Now, let me explain that. Typically, when we have a little excess cosmoline or some of the sticky stuff on some of these stocks, I'll tell my guys in the back, get a rag, get some WD-40, wipe them down before we do the video. We're out of it. So what you see here is the way they came to us. Well, let's look at maybe the worst example. This one has some stuff that is scratching off with my fingernail. I don't know what that black stuff is, but you can see it under my nails there. Uh, whatever it is, it's coming off and it will clean up. But that is probably my worst example. Overall, still good condition. You can see the really nice Persian seal there, as all of them will have good bluing on these. We'll compare that to one right beside it, which is probably the best. And that way you can see the gamut. Consider this one of the best conditions on the table. I'll, I'll show you the seal. Let me flip it and show the other side. I got this little black crud stuck up under my fingernail. Now we have to get that out later. Very smooth bolts on these. Typically the Persian Mausers have nice bores. Now we never ever guarantee for a bore, but when you see a Persian Mauser with a good bore, you've really seen something. Very tight rifling, very accurate rifles out to a long range. And again, these are our good condition. Price on everything on this table, good condition is gonna be $6.99. 99 $699.99 surplus good on the Persian Mausers. We have a couple of other grades. They're on the table behind me. We're going to take a short break, come right back and show you those. Be right back. All right, folks, we're back. The ones we have here, you just saw a good grade. These were marked by the importer on the tags, as you can see here. Let me find it. This one is a G. That would still be a good code. Frankly, I set this one back here. I did not think that lived up to the price that we were asking for the goods on the first table, just overall condition wise. These other two are GC, which means good cracked. So Wim, let's take a look at just all three of these. These three, we're gonna call all of these good cracked. Now the first one, I could not find a crack in the stock. Quite frankly, the third one, I could not find a crack in the stock, but the importer says it is a GC. The second one here has a very obvious crack in the stock. Let's take a good look at it. Right behind the trigger unit. No, that's very repairable. I would countersink a couple of wood screws down in there and put some putty on the outside, pull it together until it dried. Voila, you've got a fixed stock. And nobody can tell the difference. But again, all three of these will be under the GC code. It'll be a custom option at $100 off of the price of the others. These three will be at $599.99. And on this end of the table, this is the last of what we have left. These are our fair condition rifles. As you can see, cosmetically, they run the gamut. We almost look at this tag here. You see the F code from the importer stands for fair. This one actually looks pretty darn good for fair. But that's the way they graded it, so that's the way we're going to leave it. I see there's a little surface rust there on the end of the barrel. Maybe that's why they marked this one down so much, as opposed to some of these other ones that really look pretty rough. As far as we can tell, though, 
mechanically, they're all sound. A lot of Cosmoly in there. This one, quite frankly, may clean up to a good, needs a good solid cleaning, get a lot of Cosmoly off of it. But with a fair condition gun, folks, expect to have a crack stock, expect to have a lot more bluing wear, maybe some rust, maybe some rust under the, under the stock. But again, I believe they'll all be serviceable and fireable. These are at $499.99. So you have the goods at $699, good cracked at $599, and the fares at $499. After that, we are out of Persian Mausers unless we find some more. Folks, keep up with us every day this week. It's going to be a very exciting week. A lot of really cool surplus coming every day this week. We appreciate your business. And as always, thank you for being with us at www.classicfirearms.com.